Okay, let's take a look at activity 27, understanding nutrition facts on labels. Nutrition facts. Yeah. Okay, so you know that on any packaged food container, there's a nutrition facts label. And this shows the nutrient contents of the food. By reading and understanding the nutrition facts labels, consumers can get nutrition information about almost every food on the grocery shelf, at least in the United States. So here's a sample nutrition facts label. We don't know what type of food it is, um, so we're not concerned with the type of food in this case. We're just trying to learn what the label shows. So the first thing is that each label shows a standard serving size at the very top. Okay, so um, the serving size here is, uh, it says one half cup or 114 grams. And the serving size allows consumers to make nutritional comparisons of similar products. You know similar? Mm, yeah, almost the same. Not exactly the same, but you know, two kinds of yogurt or two kinds of crackers or two kinds of canned beans or several kinds. Then you can make a comparison of the products by looking at the nutrition facts labels. And we also have some common units, units of measure that you will find on nutrition facts labels. Some common units are cup, tablespoon, teaspoon, piece, slice, and even a fraction such as a quarter pizza. That is if you know, suppose you buy a box of frozen pizza and they say the serving size is one quarter of it or one fourth of the pizza. Now the number of servings per container is also shown and it's shown just below the serving size. So we have the serving size first, and then just below it is the servings per container. Container, hmm, what kind of containers do we have? Bags, boxes, bottles, jars. Those are different types of packages. And the packages could be very small, individual size, or they can be big size like when you go to Costco and you have to buy 24 of, of something. So that is um, important to know how many serving sizes, uh, how, what, what the serving size is and how many servings there are per container. So some containers have four servings and if you have four servings and you eat it all, then you have to multiply times four all of the figures that are all the numbers or the quantities that are shown on the nutrition facts label. Okay, now the middle portion of the nutrition facts label shows information about the amount per serving of calories and certain nutrients. So the amount per serving, that means each serving, per serving means each serving. One serving contains this many calories or this many nutrients. Some of these nutrients are fat, cholesterol, sodium, carbohydrates, protein, vitamin A, and calcium. And there are many other nutrients that you'll see on different types of food. Other nutrients of major health concern are also shown on the label. The content of the middle section is different for different uh, kinds of food because not all kinds of food have the same ingredients. Now the top and middle portions of the label show the nutrition facts specifically for the food that's in this package. But the bottom part, the bottom portion, the bottom part, the bottom portion of the label shows the daily values. The daily values, which is abbreviated D V, daily values, DV, are nutrient standards used on all food labels, and they are the same on all food labels. So the nutrition labels express the nutrients as a percentage. Remember percentage? That means part of how many? Part of 100, right? So it shows the uh, nutrients as a percentage of the daily values for a 2,000 calorie diet. Now you remember we talked about the average woman and average man uh, or an average man. Okay, so on page 
um, 62, when we were talking about stressing content words, we had a paragraph about the woman who is uh, how old? Um, 20 years old, a young woman, and she's 128 pounds and has an average amount of body fat and engages in light activity, and she should consume about 2,200 calories per day. So that's more than the 2,000 standard. And the man who is 20 years old, um, in this example on in activity 23, it says that uh, he needs an intake of about 2,900 calories. So the percentages that you see on the nutrition facts label are percentages based on 2,000. So if your calorie intake requirement is higher, then you may need to make some adjustment in the calories or the, the uh, percentages adjustment in the percentages of these nutrients for your diet. So for example, when we look at this uh, nutrition facts label, we see that it's half a, half a cup or 114 grams. Now what's the difference between a cup and grams? Well, cup is an English measurement. Also, it's the volume. It's the volume. And grams is a, it's based on the tens and thousands, right? Kilograms and milligrams, we talked about that. And that's based on weight, how heavy it is. So there are two ways to measure the serving size. And we know that there are, in this package, four servings per container. Um, amount per serving, it says calories 90. So there are 90 calories per serving. <laughs> in that case, how many, if there are four servings in the box, how many calories are in the whole container. Do, 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 do. 90 times 4 is 360. So if you eat the whole package by yourself, you'll get nine, uh, 90 times 4, you'll get 360 calories. And it also tells us how many of those calories come from fat. And here it shows us 30 calories come from fat. And if you eat the whole box, then you're getting how many? How many calories from fat? Four times 30. 120 calories from fat. It also tells us here the daily percentage daily value. So it says total fat, three grams. We see the letter G, but we remember that G stands for gram or grams, both the singular and the plural. So we have to remember to say the z at the end, grams, um, which is 5% of the daily value. And saturated fat, I guess there's no saturated fat because it says zero G. Zero G means there's no saturated fat in this food product. Cholesterol, it says zero milligrams. So there's no cholesterol in this food product either. And of course, that's zero percent. It says sodium, 300 milligrams. Already, just for one serving, you get 300 milligrams of, of sodium, which is 13% of the daily value. And total carbohydrates, it shows 13 grams, 4% of the to of the daily value. The dietary fiber is three grams. That represents 12% of the daily value. Sugars, now normally we don't use the word S, the, the word sugar with S. Normally for daily use, it's a non-count noun. How much sugar did you use? Uh, one teaspoon, put in my coffee, or one tablespoon or three tablespoon for this recipe or a cup of sugar. We usually measure it like that. But when it shows here sugar z with an S, that means that there are many different types of sugar. If you're a scientist, you really understand the different types of chemical compounds that are um, considered sugars. So it means all the different kinds of sugars together, added up together, are three grams. And finally, we see protein. Protein shows three grams. So when you eat this product, you'll get three grams of protein. It shows us that we have vitamin A at 80%. So if you eat this product, one serving of it will serve 80% of what's necessary for you if your intake should be 2,000 calories. If you require 
more calories than that per day for your body size, body type, your age, your activity level, then this amount would be a lower percentage. It shows calcium 4%, vitamin C 60%, and iron 4%. So um, it also gives a few other um, facts about uh, total fat, saturated fat, sodium and total carbohydrates at the very bottom, but uh, we won't go into such greater detail. When you take your nutritional science class, then you'll probably go into these in greater detail, but let's move on to the next activity, okay?